All right, guys, today we're going to show you how many of my snakes actually like me. Oh, look at the daddy loves you. Oh, there it is. Ow. Oh, medic. Ooh. Why did you do that to me? Yo, you see that puff adder? Did you know after minutes of making friends with it, I entirely trust it, and now I'm gonna show you that you can trust this. I never have to worry about a bite. See, look, I'm gonna go, oh, little, give me a little snake. You're really cute. You wanna do a little tickle? Oh, no, oh my God! What the hell? Look, venom! Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Nothing. Oh boy, look how yellow Because I'm, oh. I'm completely just testing the boundaries. So that one's not as friendly as your other ones. No. This place for But it's not like I'm, <laughs> I didn't expect, but wow, just bam. But that is not, so that was definitely not a dry bite. Big difference. Cytotoxic venom Ooh, is hands, awful. What are you doing? Don't suck. Did, don't, I, don't did I get it on it? Can you tell what kind of snake it is by what, what it tastes no. like? No. <laughs> no. Wait, that's not food. So I wouldn't expect this guy to, to want to bite me. Uh, he's already been figuring stuff out. So clearly he just he was interested in um, food. He's going to be just a big doofus. He doesn't care. Ready? He doesn't care. La la la, here's my hand. He doesn't care. He's like, look at the camera. Oh, I got the eyes on my camera, I forgot. Ooh, look at the daddy loves you. Kissy, kissy. There's something about looking at this through the camera lens. I just can't get over there being a hand that close to that. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's a smart guy. I would expect that because he sees it all. Uh, Ooh. Who wants the kissies? Who? See, I can actually touch him in a kind of a way. <laughs> Touch him in a loving way. Hey, dad, dad. Little baby. Come over here. Hold on. Come here. You're so cute. Now I can steal the shed out of your cage. All right, so you want to go look at some gaboons? So this little guy right here, see that? They have a lightning strike. This is just going to go, you're my daddy and I love you. See? I'm just gonna a little tickle. He's like, yeah, whatever. Get out of my way. You was irritating me. And then this one. I'm gonna go a little tickle. He loves his daddy. She loves her daddy. Very much expected. Look at that. That is such a wonderful little creature. Oh, look, it's a very cute little snake. But I have a great relationship with this and there's no way he's ever gonna try to bite my hand. Oh, what's that? Look at that. That's... Here it comes. Daddy loves you. He says, get away, your finger smell. All right. Oh, wait, he's... Yep. So, this guy is using his brain, evidently. So, I was expecting a more aggravated scenario and no bite. Daddy loves you. I'm going to kiss you. But look, he's just he's figuring it out. He knows it's not going to hurt. Actually, not much, but it's above room temperature. I'm going to just move around the bedding. Oh, there it is. Ow! Oh, medic. Ooh. Why did you do that to me? I thought you loved me. Ooh. I was just trying to fix the moat and groom the cage and make it beautiful. Very strong response, but I don't think uh, I'm going to witness a bite. Hello. He's like, get away from me. I'm just a cute little snake. Leave me alone. I just want to rely on my cryptic camouflage. Nope. Not even rattling. Daddy loves me. Yeah, because you treat these guys well, they think, and they, the, the brain it precedes uh, the defensive reaction. So I'm expecting a very defensive reaction and possibly a bite. Ready? Hello, I love you. Your daddy loves you. I'm just gonna pet you under your chin. 
This is an eastern diamondback rattlesnake. And once again, a very wonderful thinking animal. It is uh, very nervous and defensive right now, hence the loud buzzing, but that's all out of fear. Remember, snakes are never mean. It's only us horrible humans that do that, and we do lots of mean things to animals. That's a very sweet, gentle animal. Yeah, so... Now, mind you, it's still it's room temperature, so if I heat the sucker up, we can come back on a couple of these that have uh, left me a little bit confused. Crotalus heridus, otherwise known as the timber rattlesnake. This is a very smart thinking animal, very unlikely ever to bite. It's just very, very sweet. Like, what's going on? Get that stupid thing away from me. Hi. Very sweet, very shy. He's just, what is this stupid thing? So actually, what's really interesting about timber rattlesnakes, they put trap cameras where they put down a bait for like squirrels and they put cameras out and sometimes the smell of the squirrels or the rodents is attracting timber rattlesnakes to these bait piles and then comes the rattlesnake, comes in there and sitting there waiting for a squirrel or a rodent and then a bear comes along. And the bear is all over the place and the bear comes right to the rattlesnake over and over again, and the rattlesnake refuses to bite it. Just sits there and just holds the crown. These animals really don't want to bite you. Daddy loves you because you're so wonderful. Let me just give you a little, a little, little, little just a little chin rub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. It says, I think, and I'm a very sweet animal, and I'm only interested in rodents and looking very, very handsome. It's pretty crazy, huh? Just the fingers. Okay. Here is the very dreaded Arizona blacktail rattlesnake. Actually, I'm being very sarcastic because it's not dreaded. Say, hello, little snake. Here's my stupid fingers because I'm going to play kissy face. Now, I'm coming in a very menacing fashion. The snake is trying to figure out what it is. And then... A little, little cute little rub. I'm gonna say, I just want to rub your little, your little cute little face, and then I'm gonna go, yep. Oh, look. Yeah, just as expected. Wonky Wilma is a gaboon rhinoceros cross. She's actually a hybrid, and questionably a naturally occurring hybrid in the wild from Africa. She is beautiful. She's going into a shed and she will not bite the hand that feeds her. Hi, baby. I know. I love you. You're so cute. Here's a little fun fact. The head wobbling is much more, uh, Part of what the rhinoceros viper does, and unlike the gaboon, so the head wobbling is the rhinoceros genetic influence to do the head wobbling, and she gets excited over food, and that's something that my other rhinoceros vipers often do. And one last thing, it is said that they will sometimes lure birds and such with the movement of their little eyes and their rostral nose scales. Look, so she's just being a little bit defensive. She's not flicking her tongue. Yes, but all good. And here we have one very grumpy waggles bite, but that I would expect likely to bite me. Hello. You cute. I'm gonna just pet you. stupid. Nope. Huh. Nope. Your face suck. What's going I, on? I, you know, <laughs> if I took her out, she must look at that though. She, she's sinking. So I was, I was even wrong about that. That's, that's actually great. Hi, sweetie.
And here we have the home of Ophiophagus Hanna. This is the King Cobra Snake. Look at me, there's a stupid hand. Oh, get that stupid thing away from me. That's not another snake that I'm gonna eat. I'm very excited. Look at the eyes on that camera. I have attention deficit disorder because I am a young King Cobra, unsuspectingly afraid of everything and also easily intimidated, then causing a, f oh, look at that. Oh, look at me, I'm bad. I'm gonna come over here and investigate. Oh, it's nothing to be scared of. He's gonna touch me because my daddy loves me. Get away from me, you stink. That's probably what snakes actually think. Look, I'm petting it. Look, Donnie, I've got the King Cobra. Look, here I am. She's like, I am too valuable, wasting my time biting such a stupid object as your hand. Yes. All right, so we're gonna revisit her because she is a defensive snake. I warmed the hand up a little bit. I love her, but I just want to see what she does. If, if, the, if she's got heat kiss, so she might react. She's using a brain, so I love it. Hi, baby. All good. Nice. I don't want to force her to bite her. I just, I'm letting her figure and think out. Think through it and uh, know what's going on. Hi, sweet. I know. So puff adders are really just, they're, they're, they're bad news. So what I'm hoping is now that it did the first one, now that it's decided that it's not worthwhile. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that one looked like it was. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Ooh, right there. Let's not lose sight of what's going on right there. Whoa. So, yeah, these guys, they, they bite a lot of people. Look how just incredibly aggro that is. So this is not an animal that that I would, you know, ever feel that in any confidence in any kind of trust. All right, so she's figuring it out. She's actually just trying to get away now, just lightly touching her. Good. She's pretty much figured it out. I'm not going to work any more at that. Wow. Um, Not an educational animal probably going to use, right? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I I once had a devenomized uh, puff adder. His, uh, his name was uh, Wanchu. So I got this really nice pair of wrinkles cobras that are really pretty. They came originally from Dingo. They came to the United States. I think somebody else imported them and got the group. Ultimately, uh, Brandon over at uh, Con Venom actually had a really nice pair that I saw. And I was like, oh, my God, these things are so pretty. He hooked me up. And little did I know, I was actually going to get some nightmares. And these are bona fide nightmares that wish me dead. Very reactive animals, gnarly animals. These are, they're not actually true cobras. Uh, they're, uh, they're spitters. And the way they spit is very different than, let's say, my, my red spitters. Um, they do this, throw themselves forward, but they still, they can spray a lot of venom on you. They're very, very aggro. They love to bite. Um, Dingo does stuff, and hopefully everybody has checked out uh, Dingo's new series, uh, Reptile Royalty. We were number one. We did a thing on King Cobras. We brought out Lilith, and we went back and forth with Dingo. So please check out Dingo's channel. I'm sure you guys all know who he is, but check out the video. He's wonderful. I'm going to take this out. Protect my eyes. You don't want to get this in the mouth. You don't want to get in any cuts. You certainly don't want to get it into your eyes, your sensitive membranes. Uh, this venom is gnarly cause a uh, great discomfort. So these have a ridiculous defense and their defense is to act all crazy, act aggro, and also have the merit behind it where they have nasty venom, they can also spit in your eye, they can temporarily blind you, or actually probably cause possibly long-term problems. I don't know a lot about wrinkles cobras, dingo wood, but this is a really gnarly animal and I'm never gonna have the delusion that I'm ever gonna be friends with the snake. All right, so this animal's definitely better than the other one. The other one, maybe we'll actually switch over to the other one. Just to, I'm, I'm really, um, I'm thrilled this animal is not spitting. It's giving me a lot of room for error. So my interactions are just, you know, scary to the snake, but he's really not doing anything. So I think I'm just gonna stay with that. I know, I know, I'm sorry. All right, 
Excellent. So you had no idea that they would do this, huh? No. That's, that's cool. This is really interesting. I'm, I'm learning just a lot about the behavior of this animal. I have foregone much interaction after getting it from uh, Brandon, and I'm, uh, I'm definitely more mentally challenged right now as to uh, this animal's nature. This, is, uh, this guy is actually thinking, long tongue flicks. He's taking things in, and this is probably the beginning of uh, some socialization. So back here, I'm doing this. And what you're doing, I'm just doing something tactile and nice. And as I'm doing that, I'm encouraging that tongue to move. And what that's telling me is the brain's on, it's recording. Uh, even though this guy's in a very much a, a defensive threat posture, his brain is on and it's taking it in. I didn't want to use tongs because the best way to manage this would be uh, use some tongs with some protective rubber on the claw, but they're very fragile. They have all these ribs, so I thought I could just manage it with a hook and my hand, artificial hand, of course. So I'm learning, you know, it's, it's always, I'm always learning and you have to be, uh, you know, snakes like this, each, you know, species or sometimes even individuals are unique unto themselves and they can always throw you for a loop. And with that being said, they're individuals. So you can have a great relationship with an animal where you feel, you know, with the venomous species, you feel like you have this, this trust. And a lot of times you do, but you always remember they are animals. And there's always that slight little time where they're not predictable. And I'm just trying to avoid that. But, you know, this is, I'm learning a lot. Hi, buddy. And this animal after I do this is probably going to be uh, better for it. All right, so one thing that's really good about uh, creating threads of trust, I want to actually put this animal back in the cage without it losing its mind. This is all part of it, okay? So I'm going to support this. I really do like this hand thing. Okay, so we're going to come over. Now, this wouldn't have worked out as well if you didn't play dead. I'm, I'm you know sure. what? This wouldn't work out that well if I, it was just a friggin' hook. I'm, I'm like literally loving the, look at this. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Oh my God, my snake died. <laughs> look at that. Oh. I, I, this is, hi, buddy. So even though it's playing dead, we want to always, you know, respect this animal can spring to life and then get him back into <laughs> Look at that, Donnie. See it? Yeah, I've got some pretty good shots of him doing that. He's okay, everybody. <laughs> I wonder how oh, he's, he's more than up. okay, guys. Okay. Hi, buddy. How long do you think he's going to be before he snaps out of it? He's, uh, as soon as he feels like the, the threat's gone away. Okay. Always remember, you can still learn a lot about these animals. I'm learning something right now, and I'm showing you the do's and don'ts. I'm learning, <laughs> maybe don't always anticipate, you know, exactly what they're going to do. Because this animal keeps trying to play dead. It wants to roll over on its back. This is a wrinkles cobra. Uh, we, as always, love our audience. We really appreciate your involvement talking to us. we got a lot of cool videos coming. I assure you we're working very hard. But use your gear. Make sure you know use your tools. I'm excited about it. I have a nice order from Venom Life coming in. And um, of my tools, my new tools, they have some really cool stuff. But uh, always, don't forget to like and subscribe please hit the notification bell. We're trying to do at least two videos a week right now, and we're definitely gonna to try to get a lot of stuff in there on some like uh, unusual care techniques and, and other things like that. Today we're having a little bit of fun playing with a bunch of venomous animals and checking out to see if they wanna bite or they don't and see if I'm always right. Not always. Now try to give the thumbs up now, Kevin. All right, guys, <laughs> thumbs up. Don't forget to follow Evil Morph God on Instagram as well as New Reptile. Donnie Rapture, and please join in on our Friday night Twitch streams, and thanks guys, keep it up. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!